In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you don't need motivation and how discipline is a lot more powerful. So a lot of people, they're always looking for motivation on certain things to get themselves to do it. But motivation is based on temporary feelings. So you're not going to be willing to always do what you have to do. So over time, you're not going to get it done. You have to understand that you cannot be disciplined on something that you haven't taken action on. It is important to take action in order to learn how to be disciplined on that subject. So you need to focus on taking action rather than the little details of the situation that you're doing. Like if you need to clean your room, you need to just take action. Like take like, okay, take a water bottle, wash it, like whatever you need to do. Um, I think the only thing I really need to clean right now is that cup right there. Um, that needs to go. I can, right after this video, I can just take it, walk to the kitchen, done, done. So that's simple action and you just need to take it. And then you're gonna over time build the discipline to keep your room organized and clean, which I'll do another video on why that having a clean room is very important for your well being and your productivity and just everything in general. Having a clean room, clean environment, clean house is very important. The trap that people fall into with motivation is that motivation makes you feel good. When you're like fantasizing about like the life you want to be living, if you did X, Y, and Z, then you, you feel good in the moment, but nothing's actually changing. Nothing changes until your feet actually hit the ground and you start taking the action, but you still get the validation when you're just fantasizing about it. And that makes you feel good enough and then not actually do anything. So you have to watch out for that when it comes to motivation. But mo motivation isn't bad. Motivation is good. You just have to be aware of what is actually going through your mind when you're motivated about something and how and how you actually have to take the action. Also, a lot of people find themselves waiting to become disciplined about something before they've even started so people they might not even realize it but they're thinking like okay i'm gonna go to the gym and they imagine themselves like being very very consistent and everything and it's like first before you can live up to this standard you just have to start you just have to start motivation is simply a byproduct of action and success comes from action there is no other way around it to be successful in anything you have to be putting in the time and when you take action you gain the knowledge of what you're trying to achieve. So, and as you gain the knowledge, you'll gain new motivation, which then with your discipline can lead to actual action and success. So uh, over time, you'll also become accustomed to what you're trying to do. It will get easier. Not all of it will ever get like very easy. Like for example, going to the gym. Most of the time, it's, it's pretty easy to go to the gym like you want to. You feel weird on a day that you don't. Um, but there's also times when it's like, you just don't really want to go, but you still go because like, since you've done it so many times, it's not that difficult compared to when you were to first start, where it's like the idea of going to the gym is like, there's a whole lot more resistance to actually get yourself to go. You cannot be motivated about something you don't know. So now what I want you guys to do is grab a piece of paper and on this piece of paper, write down what your ideal self would look like in five years. The habits you have, the type of lifestyle you live, the material things you have, all of that. Write that down, then grab another piece of paper, and on the other piece of paper, write down what you do now, the habits you have now, and then write down where would you be in five years if you continue with the habits you have now. And then take these two pieces of paper, lay them out in front of you, and choose the one that you want. So. The choice here is you can either be uncomfortable but feel comfort in knowing that you're on a good path by putting in the hard work, or you can feel comfort comfortable but overall uncomfortable. So you're like comfortably, comfortably uncomfortable. So you have to make that choice. Slowly being uncomfortable. You have to train your mind just like you're training your body. So in the gym, if you were to lift have a very quality lift only one time a week, you're not going to gain that much muscle. However, if you, on the other hand, train every day, but they're not quality lifts, you also will not gain that much muscle. So you need to find the balance where it's like you train maybe three to four times a week of quality lifting and 
there, therefore you're going to gain the most muscle because you're finding a balance between quality and consistency. Your mind is the same way when it comes to being disciplined about sticking to a task. This also, all of this applies to schoolwork and homework as well, not just things you do in your own life, like if you want to make YouTube videos or whatever you're trying to do. And with finding this balance, you need to also gain mental strength and through time you will. And then you'll learn how to go through the task even when you don't feel like it, because 99% of the time, you're probably not gonna feel like it. You might feel okay, but you're not gonna be like super motivated to do whatever you have to do. I mean, if we're thinking about doing something for a long period of time, there's gonna be many moments where you're like, I really don't wanna do this, or I just wanna, you know, sit and blaze around because it's nice, it's comfortable, and it's like, being consistent and stuff means that what you're doing is not gonna always be urgent. And if it's not urgent, you have to be able to force yourself to do the task. So you have to be able to feel bad and still perform because if you're not, that's gonna trickle into everything else in your life as well. The good news is that it becomes addictive. So as soon as you start seeing the results, it's like a drug and you keep wanting to go. So that's why I say with like the gym, if you're not going to the gym when you've already been consistent, you feel off sometimes on those days. It's not like a big deal or anything, but it's just like on a day that you do go to the gym, you just feel so much better. So when you're not, you feel like something's uh, just just wrong. Um, and it's that addiction to the results and the success. So basically you have to train yourself to get addicted to getting things done. And then you're always gonna be pushing yourself that a little bit more to be getting the tasks done. You will find that you will simply be motivated by the fact that you're not motivated. If you find yourself not wanting to do anything, I mean, even just watching this video shows that you want to improve yourself. So if you're not taking the action, you should be motivated by the fact that you're not taking the action to then go take the action. It's like a, a spiral effect. But um, in this video, in this video, I'm not teaching you guys anything that you don't already know. I'm just reminding you everything that you already know. All my videos, you already know the information in them. All my informational videos. Obviously, I have the other type of videos, like the projects and stuff, which uh, we will be going back to those videos as well. I'm just experimenting with a bunch of different types of videos. Yeah, also comment down below what type of video you want me to make next, whether it's like a project or a topic you want me to talk about. Just let me know and I will make a video on it.